Hey, AP World sophomores, good to see you again. This is going to be our last video and basically lesson before spring break. So let's get right into it. All right, so um, our agenda, let's kind of go over what should be done. We're gonna use our website, kind of going back and forth here and go over some explanations. This looks really big, but I think you'll find that this is actually a much lighter homework load for spring break than we were originally planning on. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at number one. Unit two review should be done. So your unit two review, right here, let's click on that so we can see it. Um, this is where you take your notes, watching the Heimler video. Most of you have been done with this for a few days now. That is awesome. Just a reminder, if um, uh, you're wondering how do I write on here, for any of these files like this, unit two review, unit three review, where it's your own and you'll be turning it in, you just go to file, make a copy, write your name, take out copy of, I would just delete that copy of, put your own name on there, and this is what you'll be turning into turnitin.com. I'll be able to see all your notes that you did because they'll be in the boxes, and I'll be able to grade your SAQs like I did for unit one. By the way, unit one reviews, you should have them mailed back to you. They should have been emailed to you with your grades in there. Uh, if you haven't turned it in yet, you haven't got it back yet, you need to get these done. So unit one through six, uh, these are a review of all the standards. So every standard we've done for the year is gonna be assessed again by doing these reviews. So for example, if you get a 425 in unit one review, all unit one, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, all the way to 1.7 that we did earlier in the year, this is a second assessment. So let's say you got some 375s, but you got a 425 on this, 50% of all your unit one standards are 425s. Now, if you don't do it, that means 50% of your unit one standards where you got 425s before, now you have a 425 and a zero, which changed those to a two. So by finishing these and getting them done and getting a high grade, you will greatly improve your GPA, unless it's already a four, then it'll stay there. But let's say you have a four and you decide you're not gonna do these, you could see your GPA go down by almost 50%. That means you could have a four and then just not do these unit reviews and be down to like a 2.2 or something like that. So make sure you do these and review for the exam. It's huge because we're reviewing everything we've learned. All right, so fill in the notes. Do the SAQs and the OEQs are going to be all returned in this. But let's get to where we are. So unit two, your notes are done. Let's get back to our agenda. All right, so that should be done already. Now finish your SAQ and OEQ group graphic organizer. That is also on our handy dandy website here. And it's right there. Many of you have started this. If you're wondering, I'm making this video on Thursday at 1027. So this, um, uh, your two claim evidence explanations are, sorry, your claim evidence explanations, all three of them are supposed to be done by Thursday, 1159. But if you're wondering why this isn't full, it's because many of you still have over 12 hours to get this done. Totally fine. Ooh, who's working? Who's up there? Who's Jay? Oh, nice work. Keep it up, Jeffrey. All right. So um, what you're going to do is make sure that all of these are done. So your homework was by Thursday, 1159, to have your three um, CEEs for your SAQ done and one CEE for your LEQ done. So your homework for spring break, over spring break, I would get this done by Friday at 1159, is to have your graphic organizer completely done. Finish all of your SAQs all of your LEQs, group graphic organizers, put in your context, put in your thesis statement. Your assignment now is to get this completely done. When do you want to have it done by? I would have it done by Friday at 11.59, but it needs to be done over spring break because we are going to turn it in. So if you need a little bit of time to work in the spring break with this, you can. If I were in your shoes, I'd get it done by Friday because I'd want to, you know, relax a little bit during spring break. All right. Also, what I want you to do is write a rough draft of your unit two review. So what does that mean? Your unit two review. Um, let's go back. So in your unit two review, where you wrote your notes, type your answers. Now, we're not turning them in yet. Do not turn them in. But type your answers in these boxes, what you have so far. Type them. Um, I mean, if they're awesome and turn in ready, sweet. If they're kind of like, eh, I don't know, that's okay. But fill in all these boxes, have your A, B, C, your 
three SIQs done and type your LEQ in here the best that you can now if you're struggling here's my recommendation if you're struggling you don't know what to put go to the group graphic organizer and see what other people have in here um this is slowly getting filled out it's going to have more and more in here and see what some people have i know um uh, chris has got a couple of his in there done we have um, a number of other people kristen has a number of hers done jeffrey's obviously working on it right now williams are done hannah's are done williams are actually really good i was looking at these right here just a shout out to you william great work right there so get these done check out what other people have and write your saq answers and your leq answers in the box now not turned in yet but have them done uh, i'm not going to put up the thing to turn them in on turn.com yet i'm going to do that after spring break because on tuesday april 14th i'm going to have an uh an invite i'll be telling you when probably sometime around like 12 or 1 o'clock i'm going to talk to my wife and kids and plan a good time that we can do a zoom conference so i'll let you know i'm going to send that message out and i'll probably send it out late spring break so you'll send the message i'll have it again on the website it'll be on the website it says tuesday april 14th i'll probably have it up there on monday and check the time and we did a zoom last time and about 15 of you participated it went really well you can ask all your questions about the saq and the leq any support you need i will help the best i can and i'll call on you guys to read your answers out loud to help each other out as well so that zoom is going to be tuesday april 14th spread the word on that there will be an invite soon all right so there we are we got unit two pretty much should be wrapped up about ready to go probably sometime like around wednesday after spring break you're going to be turning in your saqs and leqs for unit two so you'll be turning those in sometime around like april 15th would be wednesday april 15th looks like the date all right <clears throat> so uh but that's not all we have one more thing we're going to do oh actually my bad there are three more things to do <sighs> two more flip grids though which are kind of nice all right, so let's look at our Flipgrid. If we go again back to our website, you have a Flipgrid, and this is supposed to be done by Thursday, 11.59, so it depends when you're watching this, but uh, this should be done by Thursday, 11.59. You have your Flipgrid question, which is about trade routes. It's pretty simple. Of all the trade routes that existed from 1200 to 1450, which would you want to travel on and why? And I will encourage you to reply to each other. You guys can say why your trade route's better than theirs or, you know, go for it. Talk back and forth. Have a little bit of communication. It'd be nice. So you can respond to each other's videos. If you want to do that, you want some human contact, you want to get in a nice discussion, go for it. I'm sure some of you could definitely argue your points. <clears throat> Juan Z. Anyway, Juan Zavaleta, yeah, he could definitely argue. So although I'd probably destroy him if I got in a real argument with him. That's right, I'm throwing down. I'm throwing down, Juan. When this is all done, I'm going to destroy you in an argument. That's right. All right, let's move ahead um all right so what are we talking about again oh yeah so that flip grid needs to be done and that flip grid is due by thursday at 11 59 that would so that means depends when you're watching this hopefully you're already done if not and you're like oh my god it's friday but get it done okay this is distance learning i understand there's a little bit of trouble with deadlines computers and everything the number one rule is do your work on the deadline or as close to as possible if you need to get that done over spring break and you get it done, I will still give you credit for it. All right, and flip good answers. If you noticed in your rubric last time, they do count. They are part of the grade for your standard. So doing them will help you get a 425, not doing them will lower your score. All right, so what's next after that? What do we got here? Ooh, your unit three notes are now posted. So your unit three notes, uh, which probably take about 40 minutes to take while they're watching Heimler on the review guide. Here's unit three. And again, remember to copy this and type in your notes in the boxes. I'm getting some students emailing me asking me how they take their notes on here. And I'm like, well, did you watch the videos? So open it, go to file, go to make a copy again and put your name in there. So put your name and this is where you'll take your notes just like you did for unit uh, one, just like you did for unit two. SAQs, LAQs are not due. You do not have to do them. If you want to look at them and get ahead a little bit and start working on them, go for it. I'm not going to stop you, but you don't have to. All you have to do is take notes for unit three. All right, so take notes for unit three. 
And I put one more Flipgrid on there that has to do with the quiz game. So let's um, uh, take a look at that on the website. And the Flipgrid for the review game is pretty simple. Let's see what it is. And the question is, which of the review games did you find most challenging? So which of the review games did you find most challenging? And then the second part is, which one did you do the best at? And lastly, is there a topic that has not been covered that you would like to review from units one through three? So if there's a, like a game that's not on there, um, like one area, like I'm struggling with this and I would like to see a flip uh, a game for it. I can see if I can contact the person who made this game. Maybe we can get a game made or maybe I can even make a game. All right. So let me know that because I could possibly make the game. I can get someone else to do it. I can ask someone, hey, has anyone put anything about the Ottoman Empire, for example? All right. So um, uh, go ahead and answer this question on Flipgrid. And you guys can go back and forth with each other if you want to. If you want to say, yeah, I noticed how you thought the Ottoman Empire wasn't in there. What did you think about having the Byzantine Empire? Although we're getting out of our time period. But anyway, so go ahead and you can go back and forth and talk to each other. As long as it's about school, it's okay. And what else do we got on here? Oh, yeah. Play that flip uh, grid game often and answer the question. And that is basically our assignment. And if we look at the website, here I put all the codes that you can do. Here's the link for the quiz game, which takes you there. I would just cut and paste the codes in here and go ahead and then play this game a lot i would say i would say play at least two three times during break each one and many of you complain that the answers aren't there right away that's actually on purpose they don't put the answers there right away because they want you to play the game multiple times so play the game more and more and try to get better at it i would keep going till you get basically everything right and if you can do that these concepts will be in your head for that 45 minute test and again I'm betting my money we're going to have about 70% um, passing rate. I think we're going to do quite well. I read you guys' answers. They're really good. Uh, any of the SAQs or LAQs you're getting have been peer-reviewed by many AP teachers. The ones that you're actually doing for your SAQs and LAQs, over 200 teachers who teach AP have reviewed them, and almost all the responses I got have been really, really positive. So you are getting a really good review between um, the teachers who created the review packet, like uh, Mr. Heimler, and I've been trying to synthesize it and get this to you so you're ready for the test. So keep working. If you keep going on, we're going to be taking this test in about a month and a half, and I would bet heavy on you guys because I believe in you and you're doing wonderful. Have a great spring break. Take some naps if you can. And another small thing I think would be a good idea, using social media, find someone in your life who's been important to you, who's helped you, and send them a message of thanks. Real simple. Thank you, so-and-so. I just wanted to tell you that I was really thankful for doing this or something like that. Just send a quick message to someone to show some love to who's, who's been there for you. And number two, if there's someone in your family, someone, one of your friends who might be having a little bit of a hard time, I would say the number two homework assignment would be try to listen to them. Try to listen to someone who's been struggling a little bit lately. I think that's good for us as just people, okay? Um, don't have to do that. Just something I recommend doing over spring break. All right. Uh, I hope I get to see you guys soon. Um, we'll see how it goes. But until then, we'll keep on learning. We'll keep pushing forward. Uh, great work, everybody. And I will talk to you after spring break.